A frequent topic of discussion for us on this channel is how Donald Trump is an astounding failure in basically every facet of his life. But as I've said time and time again, and I'm going to say it again today, Donald Trump's failures in the corporate world, in the business world, hurt him most of all because it shatters his ego and it takes a hit out of his pocketbook. But you rarely see criticism of Donald Trump as a loser businessman from conservative sources. They either lie to praise Donald Trump or at best, they simply ignore his many business failures. But in a rare instance, instance earlier today, a Fox host made it clear that Donald Trump's companies are failing and in some cases there isn't even a reason for them to exist. Out where this is going, so joining me right now is the CEO of Trump Media and Technology Group. He is former California Congressman Devin Nunes. Devin, it's great to see you. Thanks very much for being here. Great to be with you. What is Thank your you. reaction to Elon Musk taking a 9% stake in one of your competitors, certainly, Twitter? Well, you know, I think it's uh, very interesting because, you know, the goal that President Trump has and, and my, what I have in our team here at True Social is to open the Internet back up so that the American people can get their voice back. So it's clear that Twitter is kind of a ghost town. Uh, they desperately need Elon Musk to be there. So, you know, it's probably something that Elon wants to do. I think he probably believes in free speech like we do. Uh, but at the same time, you know, there's not very much activity over at Twitter right now, especially when you compare it to sites like ours where we're just in our beginning stages as we continue to test and bring people on day by day. Uh, our interactions are already beating Twitter. And so Elon's going to have a lot of work to do there. Uh, but, you know, we want everybody. We, you know, we see True Social as something like a rising tide that lifts all boats. We want people to get their voice back. And at, at True Social, we're, we're doing that and it's working. I want you to answer the critics because one of them is with me today, Devin, and that is Lou Bassanis, who was on the show uh, a couple of weeks ago when I asked him about Truth Social. And Lou, you said it's dead on arrival is what you said. Yeah. You want to jump in here and ask Devin a question? Yeah, no, I would love to. And look, no, disclaim this. This is no disrespect. Wall Street is way different than K Street, right? So this is about me as a fundamental analyst. There are things that line up more to be short your stock than long your stock. Uh, and, and I think part of that, like I would love to see the interaction, but I've been waiting six weeks and I've only gone down 30,000 people on the wait list. Here's my key question. In tech, you have to move fast, break things and build it, right? You guys are moving slow. There's no visibility on when it's going to get built. My question to you is this. If Elon Musk lets President Trump back on Twitter, what, what is the reason for Trump uh, for True Social at that point? Because he has 88 million followers there and maybe a handful of million that can't even engage right now. Um, there's a bigger audience there. There's a platform with a libertarian in the lead. It could be a, a way to engage a lot more followers quickly. So would President Trump go back on Twitter if allowed? And at that point, what do you do with the business that you're trying to build? Yeah, so, so a few things there. Um, you know, first of all, uh, like I said earlier, uh, the fact that you know Twitter is a house of cards and, and a ghost town, and our product is much Sir, more. Sir, there's 217 uh, million much view, more, users much more there. Than, than it's just not Twitter. a ghost town. There's 217 uh, well, look, million I think, users. No, I think. Hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on hold according on, to them, I think. Yeah, once you get rid of the bots and the trolls, you really have, have a house of cards. It's impossible. Okay, where everybody who has a Twitter account. And everybody who has a truth account, we're barely beginning. Yet all of the people who have a truth account and are on there have more engagement, more followers in, in many cases than what they have on Twitter. So uh, the fact is, is that, you know, we are we're happy for Twitter. I mean, look, it's if, if Elon Musk can fix it over there, that's great. Uh, but the fact is, is that, you know, we are going, you know, we are testing as we go. We continue to get better every single day. Uh, and look, the numbers don't the numbers don't lie. The fact is, is that our community continues to grow and flourish. And I think that's going to continue uh, just as we continue to let more and more people on the platform. So I played you the full clip there, but I wanted to give you the context. Maria Barty Romo brought on Devin Nunez, the head of Trump's social media company. He literally quit Congress to go run this failure of a company. My goodness, what a stupid decision. And he's lying there saying, oh, Twitter's a ghost town now. Our website's more popular than Twitter. And normally on Fox News, they would just let that happen and then nothing else after. They would have just let him lie for two or three minutes about Trump's great 
great company and gone on to the next story. But there, the Fox host brings on somebody else from Fox to come on and basically say, no, everything Devin Nunez is saying there is a lie. Twitter is not a ghost town. It's used by hundreds of millions of people. And even if it's not the most popular social media site compared to Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, it's still much bigger than Donald Trump's site. And what he notes there is critical. There's no reason for Donald Trump's site to exist. In general, it does nothing that you need to do in tech. Like they said, move fast and be innovative. And Trump's company is moving like a turtle with a broken leg and it's less innovative than anything I've ever seen because it's a Twitter copycat of what Twitter was like 10, 15 years ago. And even though I know Twitter has said they're not planning to bring Donald Trump back, even though Elon Musk is seen as someone sympathetic to Trump and free speech absolutism, what he says there is critical. Donald Trump's actual desire is to be let back on Twitter. If he's allowed back on Twitter, his company has no reason of existing at all. And so this is such a brutal takedown. It's one of the most brutal takedowns I've seen of a Trump business. And it's astounding that was on Fox News.